Hello dear students, welcome back to your EVS class. In this module, we are going to start a new chapter, chapter 4, Animal Life, Reproduction in Animals. Our learning objectives will be to understand how animals reproduce by laying eggs, giving birth, life cycle of a frog, butterfly, grasshopper and importance of reproduction in animals. There are many animals in our surroundings. You may have seen a cow feeding its calf or a dog feeding its puppy. Have you ever wondered how these young ones of all these animals come into the world? How are they born? process by which living beings produce more of their own kind is called reproduction. It is important process to keep the cycle of life moving. It is also important for every animal including humans to continue their race. This is how animals and other living beings have been living on this planet generation after generation with the help of this process called reproduction. The word reproduction is derived from the root word reproduce which means reproduce that is to make again. Children, animals reproduce in two ways. First by laying eggs. Animals that lay eggs and hatch them are called Oviparous. Oviparous is a word which is derived from two different words. Ovi from the word ovum which means egg and parous means hatching. Examples of oviparous animals are birds, fish, snakes, frogs, crocodile, insects. Here is a picture of a mother hen laying eggs and sitting on them. Another way of reprodu reproduction used by animals is by giving birth to young ones. Animals that give birth to young ones are called mammals. Example, cat, dog, tiger, elephants, lion, deer, cow, etc. Humans are also mammals. All the animals like cat, dogs and living beings like humans, they give birth to their young ones, to their babies. Children, we will also come across a word called life cycle. What is a life cycle? Various stages of development from an embryo, that is from an egg, to a mature adult is called the life cycle of an animal. Every animal that reproduces goes through this life cycle. Life cycle of a bird. A female bird lays eggs and then sits on them for many days to keep them warm before these hatch into young ones. This process is called incubation. This is a diagram of a life cycle of a bird. Okay, The mother bird lays eggs then sits on them to give it warmth. Due to this warmth, the eggs incubate and finally after few weeks they hatch and baby birds come out of it. Children, you also need to understand the parts of an egg. An egg has a thin protective shell called the egg shell, the white heart covering. Within the egg shell is a white jelly like substance called the albumen which is rich in protein. The yellow inner part of the egg is the yolk and it is rich in fats, vitamins and minerals. 
the yolk contains food for the growth of the embryo the embryo develops into a chick that is the baby bird the eggs hatch and the young ones that come out have no feathers on their bodies the mother feeds the young birds till they are ready to fly <laughs>